what happened uh, yesterday, Tibby? All right, so I, I, yeah. me, I, I, I kind of know what happened, right? So yeah. SNL puts out a sketch. Like, you can pull up the sketch if you guys want. Um, love how everyone, I love how Lewis like, acts like he doesn't have this whole planned out. Yeah. He's like, by the way, you could pull up any of the prompts I emailed you <laughs> yeah. uh, I really last didn't. night. Do you think I'm that like, organized? I emailed uh, 30 uh, prompts. Uh, you could pull them up if you I want. I bet you Not my, a big deal. my team of producers doesn't even know what sketch I'm talking about. Right. This is how out of touch they are. G- girls, do you know what sketch I'm talking about? Yes, I have Bitch it ready booth. to go. They just heard me. Do, yeah. I have it. All right, good, go. Well, that's right. I used to host Fear Factor, and now doctors fear me. Can you help me, Joe? Oh, sure thing, Big Bird. You see, I took Carlos Mencia down. I can take COVID. Here's some zinc. (laughs) And ayahuasca. Nice reference. And some horse medicine. (laughs) Why would a bird take horse medicine? I'm a human, and I took horse medicine. Can I pause it for a second? And I'm speaking... That bird What's, is b- the big bird's the thing that's bothering me the most. Yeah. At least get flushed down the toilet. <laughs> <What> the f- <laughs> How lazy are they with their big bird? In what world is Joe Rogan taller than Big Bird? I know, the whole yeah. thing is fucking... No, the whole thing is it's just kind of lazy. And who's the person on the right supposed to be? Ted Cruz. A.D. Bryant plays Senator Ted Cruz. <laughs> Why? I'm telling you, the what? wheels have come off. <laughs> they the just, wheels have come they're off. They're just rolling, do- they're just rolling it's dice. Crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. What is yeah. going on in this sketch? It's, I, it's Listen, the what? writer's room, it's state propaganda. What? Like It literally is people that like worked on Hillary Clinton's failed presidential run are writing these sketches. <laughs> they're so lazy and bad that people are shocked. I like SNL. I said, and I've defended it, I'm like, I think it's funny. I think it was funny last week and had a few funny things. I watched sketches online. It does. I they, last, last Christmas have, was the Christmas sketch that I saw they that have like, people were posting stuff. it like it was cringe. And yeah. I was like, it was the one where the mom only gets a robe every year for yeah. Christmas. And I, it was it's pretty, funny. it was funny. Listen, it made me laugh. I, I get in real trouble because I try to make like a nuanced point yeah. where I'm like, the show's funny, but the reality is when they do this type of stuff, which is so transparently like this just political low hanging fruit. Joe Rogan didn't take horse medication. Yeah. That's been yeah. disproven. It's discredited. Yeah, it's like it's, it's it, not it's true. embarrassing at this point well, to almost say. It's yeah, embarrassing yeah, yeah. to say. Well, he has a bag of them like they're M&Ms. Yeah, so like keep on playing the sketch cuz it gets it I don't gets think I've ever seen Rogan eat. Worse. things that uh, are horse like. Uh, today's two sponsors are the letters S and D, as in I can S my own D. <laughs> oh that my was God, it. isn't this for kids? No one understands. All yeah, right, so I mean, that was it, right? So, so I tweeted that the show, is, is, you know, is kind of like lazy, mediocre hacks. <laughs> was it was what I said because the <laughs> sketch is not good. Everyone, bar none, involved in that show. Well, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I said the show, right? Because I don't mean everybody on the show, but yeah. I mean the show kind of speaks with one voice, right? Yeah. It just does, and that's lazy. And I know Joe; he's a friend of mine. He did not take horse medication. He's worth half a billion dollars or something. I don't think he's taking animal uh, uh, medication. And it's just, I'm like, dude, I make fun of Joe. <clears throat> I do the best imitation of Joe that's ever been done. Well, I, I said that yesterday. I was like, isn't that, Tim's not defending Joe Rogan not, or it's, uh, defending the idea of making fun of Joe. Make fun of him. Tim you can make makes fun of, fun of Joe better than anybody makes fun of Joe. <laughs> you do it really well. It's funny. It's, yeah. and, and, and Ivermectin's funny. It's all funny, right? Uh, you could do a, a, a Joe Rogan experience sketch that would be really, really funny. I just said that's lazy. And by the way, my Twitter, I don't ever know what gets ignored and what doesn't. Right. That's the way Twitter is. You tweet like 10 things, and then you go to the Cheesecake Factory, and then halfway through, you look at your phone, and you go, oh, man, yeah. something either ca- – I've said wild shit about that show, about everything, and people don't care. This one, they cared. I looked, it had like 40,000 – So the tweet went viral, and tweet, I'm assuming yeah. Michael Che saw it he and, saw then, it. and had issue with it. So, he, and, so Che, who doesn't use Twitter, he uses right. – Instagram. Instagram, yeah. So you guys are on different platforms speaking about each other or slash to each other because you're both seeing yeah. it. Like yeah. everyone's sending yeah. it to it's each all, other. Yeah. It's all one platform it's a, these it's days, a, right? It's not, it really is. Like you're, it's just no, your phone and you're looking at it, but we've, yeah. we're convincing ourselves that it's like different houses yeah, that you're in. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, very silly. Um, But you're both seeing this. So Che, he... It well, was, what's funny about him is I like him, 
Yeah, me too. Met. I, I, right. I, I've Chase I one of the I, only famous people in the world who will still come and do shows like Legion of Skanks. I, I think Chase yeah, is a good dude. I agree and he's with funny. him on a lot of things, right? Like, I agree with a lot of what he says. What I think happened was he, that got under his skin, yeah. what I said. And he hit back at me and basically was like, Tim Dillon tried comedy, got nowhere. Then he became a media personality. And but don't get fresh or whatever. Um, and this is right like, here. yeah, I don't care if it's a zillion. Somebody, somebody messaged him that he makes 190k a month on Patreon. I don't care if it's a zillion. I know Tim Dillon. Yeah. He ain't what you think he is. He's a sweet, humble guy who really tried at stand up, got nowhere, became a media personality because it's much easier, and we're all very happy for him. But don't get fresh, Tim. So let, let me defend you here, Tim, because yeah. this is it's very. <laughs> I mean, you've been doing comedy what, like 12 years, 13, 12 years, years yeah. I mean. That's a fucking. You've had a pretty good, like you. You did. I mean, listen. It, it, it's what, it, it, yeah. I mean, it's like you. You. Yeah. I, I'm not going to say you're not fast track, but you did. You've gotten famous at a, in a pace where it's like no, no, no. You paid yeah. your dues for a decade. Yeah. And very recently, you hit something that you you got a bunch of well, fans, it, and yeah. you're crushing it right now with stand up. Tim also to defend yeah. you. Is a mur- I mean a murderer on stage. You murder yeah. on fucking well, stage. Thank you. I mean, so to pretend but that here's, it's- here's where he's right, but it applies to both me and him. I'm known from a podcast. He's known from SNL. Sebastian Maniscalco is known from stand-up. Nate Bargatze is known from stand-up. Mm. So I, I will give him some credit here. I'm not insulted by saying I'm a media figure. That's not an insult. I don't know if it's true, but I don't think it's an insult. I don't think it's an insult to say this. Per- it's easier to become a media figure than become a stand-up comedian. Number one, in both cases, that would be very difficult, right? Yeah. So to build like an audience... I, the second biggest show on Patreon, all this stuff. That and, and everybody yeah. literally. So, so what we do is we try from the very beginning. We all yeah. take the acting classes. We all right. take the writing classes, the sketch yeah. classes, the improv. We all start a podcast. We all get on fucking yes. Fox News and do those talking head shows. Right. We all do the VH1 shows. Last yes. Comic Standing, just for laughs. Yes, we everybody does everything. We yes. all try, and what happens is certain things work. You right. figure out the two or three right. things that really work, and you go, cool, this is how I'm making my money, and this is how I developed an audience, and now I get to go tell dick jokes at night, because yes. this is why we all started doing yeah. all the other shit we started so, doing, uh, was just so we can go yes. sell some dick jokes at night. So you guys are, t- you're, you're doing the exact same thing, uh, just yeah. different engines. I think, if you, you gotta also say, you, you're a media figure if you work at NBC. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you work at SNL, you sit behind a desk, you wear a suit, your checks come from Comcast. That's media. I have a platform and fans and an opinion, so... I'm I I'll, I'll I don't think it's outside of the realm of what's rational to say like everybody who succeeded in this for the most part is in the media to a degree like we're all like I mean we are all to some well, degree. also not for nothing you don't uh, to for for the most part you don't have a boss you don't have anybody I don't have to any, answer no, I don't to have anybody, yeah. for, I mean for the most part we, we yeah. all have little we all like have things that we have to do and, and whatever right. yeah but you know, Che's playing a different game, and this is not a knock on Che. No, but Che is is you know, he, look. If I'm choosing a career, yeah, I and I, you know, obviously we. I tried it all. I would I would have loved to yeah. get on SNL. I would have loved to be an actor. I'd have loved to have all that. Fa- I gave that up a long, long time ago. Um, but if I'm choosing a career, I want to have complete freedom. Success, in yeah. my opinion, is not answering to anybody, not having a fucking boss, being able to get up and do what you want to do. And I look at you, and I look yeah. at guys like Ari. There's a lot of guys out there that. Varying levels of success, yeah. but in my opinion, it's true success. It's pure success because you guys are legitimately doing what you well, want to do. I, the way I look at it is, listen, things shake out the way they shake out. I'm I'm lucky enough to not have any of those things. I tried to do certain things. like I, I had a pilot with Comedy Central. I did all these things. Now looking back, I'm lucky none of that worked. Right. I feel lucky. I feel lucky that I didn't break in that way. So I can kind of do and say what I want for the most part, and I'll be okay. Obviously, we never know when the internet turns and says you're out. But for the most part, yeah. I'm lucky that uh, that I didn't get a show. Like had I got my tour bus show on Comedy Central, had that worked, I would have had a different career. I think my career is better now than the career that I would have had. Yeah. I don't think it's fair to say I got nowhere in stand-up. I had specials. Yeah. I was a touring comic. I was a headliner. But I don't think that's what it's about. I think what it's about is like, I'm shocked that the people at SNL are fighting with me. Right. Like, it's shocking to me that I tweeted something and it went viral and that the people on this show, because I'm, 
you know, I, I, I don't know, I'm a singular entity mm. talking. So it's weird that like I'm in a fight now with this show with yeah. Che's like a proxy of it or whatever. Right. And it's 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 weird you send a tweet out and then you're in this argument. It was very interesting to watch Che's reaction because he does he does the thing where he'll, you know, it's it's a story. He goes, Tim yeah. Dillon? Question mark. Really? Tim Dillon? And I'm yeah. going like yeah, Tim Dillon. But it's, well, not, well, it's well, not working. Yeah. But well, yeah. uh, what are you, it's not it like it's fucking work, Justin no. Silver. No offense to Justin. But if, <laughs> yeah. if it was yeah. Justin, it's exactly not like no, Justin Silver. Yeah. Uh, I would understand him like, Justin Silver, really? The dog guy is yeah. telling me like, but it's yeah. like, no, no, no. Yeah, Tim's one of the biggest comics working right now. And not to kiss your ass, but it just is what it is. Mm. So it's like. I, I just didn't get it. And also, Che one, knows. Yeah. Che, and I know Che. Yeah. Che knows. That sketch sucked cock. That's the that that's, sketch I, sucked. That's the illusion. Yeah, he should be problem. he should be going like, yeah, Tim, you're right. That sketch sucked. Cock. I I when I if should, I put out something yeah. that sucked cock and I put out plenty of things that suck cock, I yeah. put out me sucking cock. <laughs> I admit <laughs> that it sucks cock. The only yeah. thing that didn't suck cock. That was the best thing I've done, honestly. <laughs> I again, the sketch is about somebody I'm friends with. There's they're lying and saying the dude took horse medication. It's not true. Yeah. Not only is it not true, it's the laziest, easiest yeah. fucking thing to do. It's beyond lazy. Dude, he didn't do an impression. Six right. He's eight. got the uh, shirt on that I guess Joe wears in a special. Yeah. Why not just put fake tattoos on him and like make well, it Because fun. I think their whole thing is that he doesn't deserve an impression. Well, Fuck by yeah. the way, really? we're too good. He's covered in tattoos. Here's, here's what it is. They're going, yeah. hey, w he's not worthy of rising to the level where... But this is a show that... Did the Mueller days of Christmas with the whole fake Russiagate thing where they were like on the first day of Christmas, blah blah. Like this is a show where someone dressed up as Hillary Clinton and sang a song. This is a show that celebrated Obama. This is a show that it's it's de yeah. democratic propaganda, but which I think is that's fine. An interesting point that they don't that they whether it's consciously subconsciously whatever it is they're like you don't deserve the impression. You don't deserve we're not the impression. celebrating you. We're not. We're, we're not even going to celebrate you with an yeah. impression and. This is a show, which is interesting because uh, yeah. it also it's like Rogan has become so big that he would get a sketch on SNL. You think that they would nail it, and they could yeah. nail it, but they don't want to nail it. Yeah, and then like Michael Che did something on Instagram where he goes, "You can do whatever you want." Donald Trump became president, and Tim Dillon's a star, right? Yeah. Here's so basically, I think the point of that is like, isn't the world crazy? Trump became president, so then you have to unpack that and go, "You had Trump on your show, yeah? Like, <laughs> what are you people doing, yeah. like?" You guys don't even know how to do whatever you think it is you're doing. Like, you're saying, I'm shot. Like, the whole point of that is to be like, I'm stunned that Tim Dillon's a star, that Trump's president, or whatever. And the word yeah. star is retarded, but like, you're supposed to be incredulous of those two things. You helped one of them happen. Yeah. You had him on the show. It's a weird schizophrenic way to look at the world, I think. Yeah. Um... And it, I think, comes from the realization that, like, we, this is not good. We, the comics know that it's not good. In fact, the only people truly enjoying that show right now are people that tune into it to hear their politics reflected back to them. Right. You can hear it in the audience. You can hear yes in the audience. Every sketch. It, you know How many sketches now are just people sitting down and going, here's the way the world is. Yeah. And then the fucking Daily Beast reading ribeye size steak feet flat wearing beast women in the crowd go yeah <laughs> and their gay boyfriend sits next to them and goes this is fine yeah it's not about comedy it's a cult yeah it's a weird cult yeah. you know well i i mean look i i really do i like jay i like him too i mean listen he, we've never had an issue we don't really even have one now it was it, He's it allowed was allowed to have an opinion it was I'm just kind of well you know what it was it was like you you were you know, defending your friend, but also sort of making fun of this very cringy sketch, which a lot of people yeah. made fun of. You weren't the only, a lot of comics were like, this is fucking well, that's what bad. Shot, what's, what's interesting to me is like, well, he, he, t he starts taking personal shots with yeah. you. It's like, well, Che, like, you know, I, I, that was my thing that I took issue with because I'm going like, well, he, look, he's he's taking a shot at a piece of content that I don't, did Che, did he specifically write that no sketch? I have, I have no, no idea. idea. Maybe he did. Maybe it was his fucking baby and, and he, he was really here's, proud here's, of that one. Here's the reality. The reality is this. The numbers are what they are. Like people enjoy what I do. They they come out to shows. We have a great time. I've done stand up for a long time. The podcast is is big. I'm I'm happy about that. 
I'm not angry. So yeah. if someone else is angry, they have to look at their career and their life yeah, you can't. And, and dig and go, why am I angry? I'm not angry. I like how you're taking the high road, too, because you took some nasty little shots at him, too. No, I just said <laughs> what's true. No, you're I, a literally I, a drunk fuck. I'm walking away. He's, he's a, a drunk who can't read. Well, he is. No, no, I'm, I mean, I'm taking the high road here. But I, I think he's kind of. <laughs> you guys, here's, yeah. the, here's the reality. I, think he's been honest I sell about more that. tickets than Michael J ever has. Fact. I don't think he's allowed to use his website for his fact. job. Yeah. And I've built something on my own that he can never do. Also a fact. Che has done well for a drunk who can barely read. But his show sucks and he knows it. Wow. I mean, but that listen, that wasn't I'm not trying to be a dick. Yeah. I mean, this is this is what it is. Yeah. I mean, I have I, I have no problem defending myself and saying this is the way I see the yeah. world. Here's the way you see the world. This is the way I see the world. Yeah. And to say that I'm like a media guy, my sketches get more views than yours did. You had an HBO show with a full budget. No one saw it. No one cared. Right. I put out things from a garage that get millions of views. Stop. It's yeah. embarrassing. Wow. It's truly the way it is. I have 37,000 people that pay to hear what I say every single week. I sold out the Beacon Theater. I don't even fucking live here. We could have done Radio City if we wanted to. We could have done two Beacons. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. This is an embarrassment I don't know. for you. Wow. So, but again... I have no issue. <laughs> I have no issue with but that. Yeah, I like anybody, him. Like, I don't want to say anything. But I like I him. I don't want to say anything that he might find offensive. It, it's just what it is. It's like, he's a funny dude. Yeah. He's a funny yeah. guy. He's probably the funniest person on that show. Right. Yeah. But to say that I'm not a respected comedian or to say that like I'm some media figure or whatever, and that's what they, they say that about Joe. They say that about anybody that doesn't have to punch a clock. Yeah. And and that's the reality. Well, they say that about Joe a lot, too. Like, or people... Uh, Joe my, is literally... The one of the biggest media figures on the planet. Yeah. Do you know how much harder that is than being a fucking dumb comedian? Think yeah. about that. Think <laughs> about how many comedians are out there, okay? Yeah. How many of them were good at stand up? Eight? Yeah. Stop. Well, and also, Joe people, built people, this love, massive to, people thing. love to trash Joe's stand up too. It was like, uh, he murders in front of like 25,000 people. Yeah. I don't know what metric. Of like funny, we go by except for the fact that you kill in front of people and people pay to see you perform comedy. Yeah, there's not. I mean, there's not really much else to it, you know. Um, but all right, I mean, we'll, we'll move on. Yeah, um, Michael Che, Tim Dillon, glad you guys could bury the hatchet here on the show. And, um, <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> it's very nice. Um, it's weird, man, because I didn't take any of the horse medication. 